To activate batch tracking for your items, it can be done on a material or product card. It can also be imported through a new material or product import. Plus, if you have existing items in your account, you can use an update material or update product import to activate batch tracking for your items. So to do this, uh, in case you're on an essential plan, you need to upgrade to advanced and above in order to use batch tracking as a feature in Katana. This is something that's super important, otherwise you won't be able to have access to these functionalities. Um, but the way to do it is we'll start off easy with a material inside of your Katana account. And uh, I'll show you where the information is located. So let's say that we'll pretend we're a coffee manufacturer and we buy green coffee beans from a supplier. There's going to be an option here that says I track batches and lot numbers. Now, this is what you have to tick on in order to make batch tracking possible for that particular item. Now, for the case of materials, batch tracking is only available for when a purchase order is received. You can assign a batch number to it when you mark the purchase order as received. So that's basically how it works for materials. Now, if we start looking at products, let's say we take one of our coffee products here. You have both the option to choose I make this product, which means that it has a recipe, or I buy this product, which means that you purchase it in and probably resell it. Or you could do both for that matter. So if you turn on batch tracking for that particular item, anytime you make it, you'll be prompted that you need to assign a batch number to that particular manufacturing order for the products coming out of that manufacturing order. In addition to that, you'll need to uh, do the same if it's on a purchase order. So you can use those functionalities for um, facilitating that process. Now, what happens when batch tracking is activated for at least one item in your Katana account? Well, something will change here on the stock screen. The stock screen has uh, a lot of information on it, but there's a new, there'll be a new menu here called batches. And batches will provide a list of all of your batch trackable items that have a batch number allocated to them. So for example, in this case, uh, I've got all my batch numbers here and the current amount of stock associated with that particular batch. On this screen, you'll find um, information such as expiration dates, as well as batch creation dates and the total in stock quantities for those particular batch numbers. Now, something that's also important to note is companies that are adopting batch tracking into Katana, meaning maybe they haven't taken their existing batch numbers and put them into the Katana system because you're relying on something else, but you want to use it for the first time. You'll start activating batch tracking for a lot of your items. And so if you've got a hundred items of stock for let's say one product or material and then you activate batch tracking then it will make that information available here on the batches screen and you're going to see this thing called unbatched and so unbatched quantities are basically batch trackable items that haven't been assigned a batch number so you get yourself in this position where you need to assign batch trackable numbers to existing items that are batch trackable and that happens when you do an adoption process for batch numbers. So I'll show you a little bit about that as we uh, as we are talking more on the uh, import side. But um, first, I'm going to focus more on the import of creating batch trackable items, and then we'll go more into details with the batch tracking parts of the stock screen as we move further past the um, the process for uh, the workflows. But okay, so. You might have to ask yourself this question. I have hundreds of items that are batch trackable. What do I do and how do I deal with that? Well, even though we've covered a lot of information already inside of the data import part of this uh, tutorial series, one thing that's important to note is that once you've advanced, once you've gone from essentials to advanced subscription, then there will be new options available on imports. When you're in the essentials plan, batch trackable items is not available on the uh, data imports simply because you're not on that plan. So you need to make sure you're on the advanced and above plans in order for you to have the access to import or update existing items to be batch trackable. Now there's a two-step process. 
Um, there's making I uh, making items that are batch trackable, and then the second is allocating batches. So um, I'm going to show you right now how to activate batch batches for different items. So if we take a look, let's say at the add new materials template. This template is intended for any business that is going to import their materials into their Katana account in bulk, but they're importing items that are batch trackable. You'll see on this template, there's going to be a new column called batch trackable with a question mark, and you need to choose yes or no. So if the item is yes, then it means that that will be batch trackable in Katana anytime you're performing a specific workflow with it. Now the difference between this data import file, which is intended to import new materials, uh, but if you compare it to the import products template, which is here, and we take a closer look at what that appears, it'll have a buy and make column. So you can then adjust, do you make yes or no, buy yes or no, and then batch trackable yes or no. And whatever combination of those will determine how that particular item is creating for batches anytime it's used in Katana. So if you've got a product that you both manufacture and as well as bring in from a supplier and you have batch trackable, yes, 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 then it, you will always assign a batch number to that for POs and for manufacturing. So that's how you import new materials and products through the data import. This is super important, I guess, if you are a brand new customer and don't have their data in to Katana yet. But if you've been using Katana already for a while and you, let's say you're an upgrade customer and you just need to start to bring in your batch trackable information, then you need to activate your existing products and materials to be batch trackable. To do that, uh, down here below, there's update existing products and reorder points and update existing material and reorder points. And I'll just download one example of what it looks like. And here you're going to find some information uh, where you'll export your existing products and materials. And then you have the ability to go in there and choose which ones are batch trackable. Then you save this file, import it a second time. And what it will do in this case is activate batch tracking for all of those materials or products that this has been updated to in real time. Now you might be saying, well, okay, what do I do in a situation where I have all of those products and all of those materials and they are in stock and I have my stock quantities correct, but they, they've been activated for batch tracking, but I don't have batch numbers assigned to them. How do I deal with that situation? In the next video, I'll show you how to do batch allocations via import of existing stock.